hey guys welcome to the channel today i'm gonna this is another video of sales module and today i'm gonna discuss about like the customers and customer group and today we're gonna learn about defining the customer group how we can create the diff different groups how we can create a customer how we can create a lead and how we can change in a lead into the customer when we see that the potential client become now becoming a customer and getting the we are getting the orders from them so the whole idea behind that is basically talking from uh, from the defining the setup the basic setup and just doing all the SAS sales process throughout using the same customer so the business scenario would be something like that you want to attract some new customer from some particular industry and when you don't know about them or when you uh, when you just start when you just want to attract them using some campaign then you can uh, create as a lead and that lead and the customer and then using that lead you can create the quotation and send them the sales quotation to them and based on that uh, you can uh, you can create the sales order as well with the same lead but the difference between the lead and customer is that once you go into the delivery you cannot create a uh, you cannot create a delivery document based on the lead and that time you literally need a customer so we can also learn how you can create a or you can convert a lead into the customer in the same uh, procedure so uh, basically if you open the business partner master data uh, from here and if you open one of the customer you can see here that there is a three different type of uh, three different type of business partner master data we can create there's a customer there's a lead which are both used in the purchase document there's another vendor which is used in the purchase document and uh, the purchase uh, and the customer and lead used in the sales document and the, i'm mentioning here the vendor because they used in the purchase document but they have they all three have very similar uh similar concept that's why cp business one uh, like uh, decided to to put everything into the one business partner mass area and in in the whole process uh like two types of the basically uh, today i'm gonna talk about two types because we are gonna discuss the sales process and in the sales process we use only the leads and customer so after you make the first sales you change the business partner to the customer and sales order can have either leads or can have also the customer but uh, uh, but as i mentioned the delivery document cannot have that <clears throat> so the business partner master data is basically a document which show almost uh, most of the important uh, uh, important reports from here to you so you can see like how many uh, sales quotations are or the sales documents are created for example here uh, we created this one in our last video uh, for for this item for this quality so all the all the account and the reports you can find here i'm going to discuss uh, more about the reports and all uh, into our future videos so don't worry about that for now and but yeah you we have so we have pretty uh, like direct uh, things that we can access directly from the business partner master here so <clears throat> Uh, basically, uh, the business partner mass data is contain the different kind of uh, tabs. The first one is the general, which have the basic information regarding the name, which kind of uh, which kind of business partner it should be, and uh, the general tab is basically contain the different kind of contact information, the proper contact person, and you know some basic stuff that you really need. Now. Uh, including the sales employee if you have from your company which is taking care of that business partner the contact person you can have multiple but you can create one contact person as a default and you can have all the information also uh, the address can be multiple address and you can define as many as you can but when you're creating some document for example the sales order so you can change the address of any business partner in the logistic tab for example if you uh, select the same this business uh, this customer then you go into the logistic and here you can if you have the multiple uh, address then you can change the uh, select the different address for the ship to and build through uh, from here too as well so that's the different thing then they have the we uh, have the different payment terms 
and the credit card and all the information regarding the bank and all then there's the payment run accounting and properties and the remark and the attachment if something is needed so that's what it is like the creating a business partner is not that uh, that hard i guess so um, before creating any business partner master data i'm gonna tell you uh, to like check your general settings uh, in the bp tab you can define your default payment terms for the customer for the vendor for default payment methods for your customer and for vendor right right now i don't have any payment methods uh, for the customer and uh, you can uh, you can create the dunning terms the dunning term is basically for the customer uh, does not pay on time so you can you can create the dunning uh, dunning terms as well as well and uh, let's now talk about the payment term so inside the setup and business partner you're gonna see the payment terms and the payment term is not only about the due date and it's much more so for example if you have let's say i have this payment term and uh, when the payment term you can define by your own you can give any name you want and in the payment term you can define like uh, which things and like you know since when the due date would be and also you can define a price list here you can also define the price list into uh, the customer group i will show you in a minute and you can define the discount how much discount this customer should get automatically and you know all these information now if you're gonna see about the customer group you can also so you can also set a price list here and uh, oh, when, when, the, when you, uh, you so you create a when you create any business partner then they're gonna pop it up so for example let's uh, go for adding one customer and i'm gonna say this is our abc corp right and when you go into the add mode and you're gonna check the payment term then this from this general setting the payment default term for the customer is automatically get copied here and if you open this then the price this was zero one so that's why the price the zero one is here as well so that's how it's gonna populate it into your business partner obviously you can change here uh, any time you want and for example if you want to give any discount for this customer then i'm gonna say okay this customer should get 10 percent discount so now if you're gonna create uh, uh, using this this uh, values and you're gonna say okay this price list and everything i'm gonna add one uh, ship to address let's say okay uh, somewhere somewhere address one and in germany and the same and when you only have like once you created the customer you can find the abc corporation and when you only have one address then that address is gonna be the default address by default you know and it's gonna be the same here too and you can just update that document so for example you can create the lead right now we just created a lead and in the lead there is no account option or anything as you can see but rest is almost everything is same between the customer and the lead so now using this lead we can create a, a sales document so let's just start with the sales quotation and i'm gonna pick the abc customer right now we didn't give any name or anything right now so we will see about that later so let's say i want to sell the 10 printer to this customer but i give the uh you know and this lead is having having all the details about the total amount and everything you can add this document as a sales quotation and you can send this sales quotation to your uh, uh to your lead when it say okay if you like your order then you can create a sales document based on the sales quotation if you want to change anything you can change it and definitely you have to agree on some delivery date and you can add it right you can add the document but once you go into the delivery and you want to try to add this document uh, let's say and you want to add it then you're going to get a message that is not a customer and the customer field should be customer so that time you have to change your business partner into a customer right and then you have to 
you have to change that into the business partner and you are getting an, another user operation device so maybe you can close this one you can sometimes you get this error because if, if like you know uh, multiple document is accessing the same records so you can open the same uh, abc and into in the customer group and now the, the error is gone so now if you go into your sales document um, we already create sorry we, can, we already created the sales order from that and from here you can just go to the delivery and when you now i'm going to add the delivery then it's going to be added and you will see that the, in the logistic the address that we have added is already here the ship to address is not going to change once the delivery is added but you can always change the build to address the ship to address and build to address are most important addresses uh, basically the ship to address and that address should be uh, should be correct because that's going to give you the problem into the ground level because the item could be shipped to the you know, different location or the wrong address and then the customer not going to get the package and that would be not good for the for as a salesperson for us and as a as a customer for them too so uh, what we uh, seen so far is like a potential customer request the code for a purchase uh, for some printer or something that we have just created then you have to enter the mass data and the quantity and we created the quotation then the price was automatically uh, calculated based on uh, based on uh, the price list and i'm already talked about this in more detail into our previous video uh, so you can check that out too and uh, that's how the whole uh, the whole document works the one thing that we can uh, discuss more is like if you have a customer who is also a vendor for you so you are selling some items to them and you're buying some items from them too so uh, that time you can connect two business partner into one and you can uh, you can do that by going to the accounting right and into the accounting field you can uh, go to the connected vendor because we are the customer and he's also customer and he's also the vendor who is selling us something once you once you select this uh, attach them then the business partner is once you enter that value then the other feature automatically filled in the related business partner so if you're going to open this a vendor and you're gonna see into the accounting the abc corporation is automatically added as a business partner as a customer so i so that's already gonna link uh, with each other and uh, connecting the two business partner allow you to view the open transaction of both vendor and the customer side as a whole aging report and the dunning uh, dunning wizard and everything and it will give you the more ability for the ar and ap transactions so and um, give you the more in hand control for the financial you know so you can you can see uh, like how much money you, they are owing you or how much money you are owing them and uh, that could work in the both ways so uh, i guess that's it for this uh, customer groups and uh, um, customer and customer group i hope you learned um, a bit uh, from this video and thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned